I've got two cracks in the front of my house that run through the brick and the previous owner decided that they would silicone it to prevent it from water from getting in. That's not the right way to do it. If there's actively water coming into your house, it's a preventative measure to put silicone in there, but really we should refill this with mortar so it stays forever. So, I know this is just from the settling of the foundation. It's not a big deal. It's not a big structural integrity uh, flaw. So today, I'm just going to scrape the silicone out and then I'm going to refill it. So as I'm taking out the silicone, I want to see if there's anything loose so that I can, act, I can fill this with the correct stuff. So I know that there's a loose piece right here. I'm just gonna pull that out. So I've got this stuff called Quickrete Mortar Repair. It just comes in a tube, fits in a, fits in a regular caulk gun. I've never used it before, but I've read online that it, uh, it works really well and it's pretty simple. So now that I've got everything scraped out that I can, I'm just gonna run this along and smear, again, smear it in with my finger and it should close everything up just uh, fine. I see a small, few small holes here and there, so I'll fill those as well. Uh, should be good to go after this. I know it doesn't look too good because it is a different color than the mortar, the, the current mortar. The mortar is red and this is gray. But I'm going to eventually, I'm going to whitewash this, I'm going to color it, I'm going to do something with it to make it a different color than it currently is. So it, it's going to stand out right now, but it's not going to matter very much in a very short amount of time. So that's it. So that's really all you do. This is going to dry. I think it's probably going to dry a little bit darker. It's going to work out good. It should be waterproof, just like mortar. It's just mortar in a tube. So yeah, this will blend in after we color it all. That is how easy it is.